I promised in a previous video that you would learn how to find the equation of a function by looking at its graph. Now seems to be a good a time as any, so let's get to it. Behold this mystery parabola. In order to fill out our equation in vertex form, we need the following information. 1. The vertex. The vertex of our parabola is h, k. So by finding the vertex, we get h and k. It's like a two for one deal. Two, whether the parabola opens up or down. This tells us whether A should be positive or negative. And three, the compression or expansion factor, the actual value of A. This is a little bit trickier, but I'll show you how I do it. First things first, our vertex is the top or bottom of the U. On this graph, it's here at 3, negative 2. This means that h is 3 and k is negative 2. This parabola is opening upwards, so a is positive. Now, let's look for the compression or expansion factor. Normally, with Joe average parabola, we go over 1 and up 1 to hit our first point, right? Well, in the mystery parabola, we can see that we've gone over 1 and up 2 instead of 1. This means our a value is 2. So, the equation of the mystery parabola is 2, x minus 3 squared minus 2. Sometimes, you will be given a text description of the parabola's transformation to work off of. Let's read one. The parabola opens downwards, then has been expanded vertically by a factor of 5, and translated 7 units up. What does this tell us? Well, if it opens downwards, then A is negative. Expanded by a factor of 5 means that A is 5. Translated 7 units up means that K is positive 7. It doesn't say anything about h, so we can assume that h is 0. That makes our equation negative 5x squared plus 7. You can use your knowledge of transformations to work backwards from graphs or descriptions in order to find the equation of a quadratic function. You already know everything you need to know. This is just applying it backwards.